What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Toville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Team Usyk. Team Usyk responds to Tyson Fury's injury, and this is what manager Igas Klimas had to say about Tyson Fury Usyk fight being postponed. He said, Fury is a effing coward. Wow. Who will do anything not to face Usyk? And he asked his bitch to hit him with a frying pan <laughs> in his brow. <laughs> you can quote me word for word for that at Ring Magazine via Igas Klimas. Let me counterpunch. <laughs> I never seen Igas go that hard on anybody. So that tells you Team Usyk's pissed, bro. They are livid simply because they know that Usyk was ready. Usyk's been beating up sparring partners, making them fight less rounds because he's putting a whooping on them so much. He's in shape. And it's a such thing when you start training people and you're training and preparing for a fight and you're conditioning, it, you have a peak within that training session, okay? Oh, Usyk's peaked. He's ready. You know what I mean? And after you peak, then you, you wrap up the finishing touches on whatever you, else you need to work on. And that's probably defense. So you work on the game plan and then you implement, uh, you peak with the game plan in sparring. Then you come about with the defense behind it, you know, on how you would, you know, protect and defend against uh, Tyson Fury. And I think Usyk has peaked and, uh, and they know it because they're all in sync. Igas Klimas, Alex Krusik, the rest of those uh, uh, Ukrainian team that's that makes up Usyk, they're all in it together. They know this is what Usyk's doing this day. This is what he's doing this day. Oh, he's on calisthenics this day. Oh, he's swimming five miles this way this day. He's, oh, okay, he's sparring these selection of days, and he's putting a whooping on these guys. So that's what's happening. And to see it come to a screeching hole just like that, Pisses him off, you can tell. I've never seen Igas Klimas talk that shit. Now, we know Igas Klimas was kind of gangster because of, you know, his upbringing and coming up in the Ukraine and then flying over here, then making a name for himself. And you know what I mean? You can tell he got a little mobster in him. You know what I'm saying? Ukrainian mobster, Ukrainian blood, right? You can tell that's in him. You can tell the way he looks at people. Alex Krusik, no, not so much. Igas Klimas, yeah, he got a lot of gangster in him. You can tell. So if anybody was going to become unglued, it would be Igas Klimas. You got your bitch. You asked your bitch to hit him with a frying pan. <laughs> Let's talk about that for a minute, okay? Let's talk about that. This is what you get when you are not totally transparent on what's going on and what really happened. That's what happens when you bring some sketchy looking video footage to support your argument. That's what happened. And you don't supply the right type of evidence. You get ridiculed. Okay. You get ridiculed. You get blamed for all type of fuckery because a lot of people don't believe that. And honestly, I think he got cut, but then Based on what the evidence provided for us makes it hard for us to know that he got cut at that particular point in time. Based on what happened, based on the angle, based on the video quality. Like, what the hell was that? 1998. You know what I mean? That footage from the 90s. And you, and, you know, look how, look, look how it looked. It looked unprofessional, which it didn't supposed to have edits and shit, but it was edited, people. Okay. That's, a, that, that's the funny thing. You had shitty footage, but the shitty footage was edited. Hmm. It sounds fishy. And then you got, the, you got the fighter that did that to him, that split that eye. So that's the only thing that really helped Tyson. Yeah, I split the eye, right? And I don't believe this, but it wasn't from an elbow. So they're hiding what really happened. They're hiding and they're ignoring or, or they're uh, excluding the real footage on how that guy really caught 
Tyson Fury because it wasn't that time. They gave us that nine seconds because that's the only thing that made it look like an elbow or some kind of foul that he encountered from that sparring partner. Okay. And that sparring partner is now saying, uh, uh, I don't feel bad about that shit. That was legal. So, you know, something's shitty in Denmark people. Okay. So I think if anything, team Usyk, Igis Klimas, pissed off, livid, is definitely understandable and warranted. Because, you know, that stops progress of somebody fighting for the undisputed heavyweight championships of the world. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Igis Klimas exploding on Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace!